For the wind simulator project, we will need an Arduino Uno, a motor shield, 12 volt power supply, and a high flow fan. This 120mm cooling fan is able to spin up to 4000 RPM and has an airflow of 160 cubic feet per minute. To increase the airspeed further and direct the airflow, a 3D printed airflow straightener can be added. It is also worth making and adding a rear fan cover to prevent from accidentally touching the spinning fan. The first step is to install the motor shield onto the Arduino Uno by lining up all the pins and carefully pushing them together. Each motor shield can control up to four fans or motors via the terminals labelled M1, M2, M3 and M4. To connect the fan, we need to cut off the original adapter, then strip the ends of the wires. On this fan, the ground wire is identified by the white dashed line and this is connected to the ground terminal on the motor shield. The other wire of the fan is then connected to the M1 terminal of the motor shield. To prepare the motor shield for the power connection, remove the power jumper from the pins. This is so the motor shield uses the power via the onboard terminals and not through the Arduino. For the wiring, the ends of the 12 volt power supply can be cut off and wired directly to the motor shield terminals. Or we can add a separate DC jack to allow for quick and easy disconnection of the power supply. To make the connection for the DC jack, cut a short piece of wire and strip the ends. Then solder the wires to the DC jack. With the correct polarity, connect the positive and negative leads from the DC jack to the terminals on the motor shield. The next step is to download and install the SimHub application as this will be used to control the fan speed via the ShakeIt plugin. To enable the ShakeIt feature, go into settings and select the ShakeIt Rumble plugin. Now we can plug in the USB cable from a PC to the Arduino and begin the setup. To configure the new device, go into Arduino, My Hardware and open the Arduino setup tool. With the setup tool open, rename the device to WinSim. Next scroll down and find the ShakeIt Adafruit MotorShield V2. For the number of motor shields connected, type 1 and then for the pulse width modulation, type in 1600. Under Compile and Upload, select the correct communication port and select the Arduino Uno board. Then click on Upload. With the upload complete, the new device will now appear in the Detected Hardware section. The next step is to set up and configure the software for the WinSim. Select the Shake It tab and under Effects, we want the fan to use the speed telemetry from the game, so turn this on. Within the speed drop down menu, we can fine tune the fan speed and output settings. The base settings I'm using for the feedback is set to 30, minimum force set to 8, maximum force set to 50, threshold set to 2, and the curve style set to square. All these settings can be adjusted and tuned to your preference. Next in the motors output mixer, for one fan or motor, set the output to 1. If you're using more than one motor or fan, increase the output to match. Adjust the speed slider to 100% and check the gain and general power sliders are adjusted to full. For the assembly, take note of the airflow direction which is marked on the side of the fan. Attach the airflow straightener and the back cover onto the fan with the bolts. For mounting the fan, I designed and 3D printed a fan bracket which bolts onto the button box. I found the best location to mount the fan is under the button box with the fan pointed at chest level. With a bracket mounted to the underside of the button box, attach the fan with two bolts. Next plug in the USB cable and the 12 volt power supply. With the setup complete, we can run a quick test of the fan within SimHub. Open the Shake It tab and in the motor output section, adjust the slider to test the fan. In the game, we can now see how the car speed relates to the fan speed via the live output graph. Making the wind simulator is a great project using SimHub and it adds another dimension to your racing simulator.